What it do, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking on those Cincinnati Bengals. We've won the last two matchups. You can see their squad. They got the homie Chad. Rudy Johnson is a problem. I'm warning you right now that Rudy, he is a big-time problem. But this team is not that good. They are at the bottom of the AFC North. They're sitting at 5-7. and seven. We are sitting at 7-5. and five. We still have a chance of making it to the postseason. The Ravens are actually now on top. They have the same record as the Steelers, and I guess they hold a tiebreaker. So, hey, a lot has changed chains in just an episode or two okay so rudy johnson up the gut like i said the man is a problem he takes it for a long run and now they're in our territory we do a good job on the next play though because we shut down the ground game. But then they're going to find Lil Dicky. His name is Dave. No, it's Lil Dicky, okay? And that's Johnson right up the gut. And Rudy, like I said, he's a problem. Gets this one all the way inside the five yard. And I'm hoping that our, my defense can make a stop. My defense can make a play. And my defense does not make a play. So we're down by seven. Hopefully our offense can heat things up early on our last game versus the Ravens are often struggled until that second half and by then it was kind of too late we still had a chance to win that ball game but you know what things just didn't go our way so right here we throw an incompletion now we're gonna run the ball with candidate and trunk candidate he's gonna pick up a gain of about six maybe seven so rivers throwing it to braylon edwards who makes the catch had a clutch reception versus the ravens in our last episodes comes back makes a big catch right there and then antonio gates with just a mossing of the whole Cincinnati secondary. That's why he jumped over everybody. Then J Dog Justin Smith gets in there for the gets in there for the sack. So now we go right back to the passing game, though, because we ain't never scared. Second down along, we pick it up with ease. We're gonna run that thing, and even my fullback got beasted on. They took out my fullback and my running back in one animation. That's ridiculous. Run the ball up the gut again. We get nada looking downfield, and again. We get nada. So we got to settle for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. But if Rudy Johnson and the Cincinnati Bengals offense going to just run the ball like they've been, we could be in trouble for getting field goals. Now they run the ball right there. They get nothing. But they come right back at us, and look at the power. Huffman. Not Huffman, but, yeah, Huffman. I about to say Kaufman. That ain't Kaufman. That's Huffman. Huffman with the touchdown save and tackle. Pool comes up from the safety position. Makes a stop right there. Now Palmer throws it. Caught by Henry R.I.P. And that's going to be a first down. So first down and 10. Johnson right up the gut. And he's going to pick up a first down. Second down and four. Palmer looking downfield. That should have been caught. But we put a hit on Chad. You feel me? So they got no choice to go back to the air. And then I'm straight hating. Give me that Yahoo. Zay Hurt. I said give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this thing on back the other way. So we get that stop in our red zone. That's huge. They get no points on the drive. Now we have got to score on this drive. We ain't trying to go three and out, Brody. Rivers looking, and we go three and out, Brody. So that's not a good drive. We had a chance to possibly drive down the field and take the lead. But... They get a stop, and now they get the ball right back to Rude. Picks up a gain of about five. Palmer has a man open. That's Rudy Johnson, and Rudy Johnson is a problem for real, for real, all right? It was a wheel route. We were playing cover three. Yo, the PS2 version, cover three, might not always be the best coverage because your corners fall asleep. Sometimes your safety in the middle of the field, the deep middle of the part of the field falls asleep as well. Ever since the 360 days, though, especially today on the PS4, Xbox uh, One, Cover three is kind of just OP'd, if you ask me. But at the end of the day here, it is not that way. Because, again, your corner kind of falls asleep, especially if they're doing a wheel route. And the guy that he's kind of mirroring is doing, like, a comeback or something like that. So, hey, it happens. But I need Ty Law to get his head out his butt. So, third down and four. Felipe throws a strike to Braylon. And we're cooking with grease back in Cincinnati territory. I'm going to need me a plate. I'm going to need me a plate for real. Going over the mill. Going to be caught by Edwards, who's having himself a ball game so far second down and two give it to Canada they gonna pick up the first down by the hairs of our chinny chin chin move those chains give me some time and they do we throw a quickly north cut picks up just two so second down and eight from the gun Felipe looking Felipe throws it to you Banks he did not want to catch that football still got hit anyway but he just did not want to catch the ball Rivers looking downfield and we get dropped sack on the play we're gonna kick the field goal the accuracy is looking good the power's looking on point and we knocked that thing out the ballpark baby you feel me so six 
not six nothing, seven to six, I should say. That's the actual score. Rudy Johnson continues to run people over. He has no regard for human life, okay? But the homie Ty Law, he's like, Miles, I got your back. I feel you, Ty. I feel you. So we got a score right here. We're still down. We're still down. We're still waiting for somebody to get open. Eubanks finally does. And that's a first down. Move those chains. Rivers going to find Berlin Edwards. That's another first down. And the chains are on the move again. Rivers looking for Antonio Gates. And the gates are wide open. Touch. Damn. That's how you do it. That's how you do it in Cleveland. Bra the Battle of Ohio. And we beating them Bengals. Okay, we're not beating them Bengals. I mean, we are beating those Bengals. And we really beating those Bengals. Kind of. I mean, it's tied. But I, I just feel good about myself. All right? So, 14-14 is now the score. They're going to run the ball with Rude again. And again, Rude, it, like the first man, has a hard time bringing him down by himself. Palmer looking downfield. Takes a shot deep. Good coverage on the plate. And little Dickie cannot catch that thing. Third down and four. And there goes Rudy. Up the gut. Picking up a first down. Barely. They go with Rudy again. Look at the cutback. Look at the spin move. Look at the vision. And look at the escapability. Touchdown, Rudy. Touchdown, Cincy. And we are losing yet again, man. So 21 to 14 is now the score. Rivers looking downfield. We're still looking. We're still looking. We finally found Braylon. O-line doing a good job. Give me some time. And I'm making some pretty solid reads today, I must say. I must pat myself on the back just a little bit. Got to stay humble. You know what I'm saying? Keep the modesty level uh, above, you know, the um, not modesty level. Like the ego level, the, the hottie level, if you will. I, the, the, I'm the braggdocious level, if you will. Candidate, he's going to make the catch right there in the flat. Turns up field. That's a first down. Like I said, my reads are on point, y'all. Did you see that strike? Me and Felipe out here getting it done. All right, respect it. Candidate, he gets bottled up. So sucking down and go. We're going to run that thing with Candidate again. We are inside the five, but we got to get across that goal line. Looking, looking, running out of time. Nobody really got open, so we just bite the bullet right there. And then I get 12 accuracy on the field goal, man. Look, okay, Madden 04's field goal meter is fast as heck. Madden 06 is slow. I be telling myself, yo, I'm playing 06. It's the Cleveland Browns series. It's 06. It's a little bit slower, but my reactions still just don't, like, match up with my brain, okay? Look, I got learning disabilities, I think. I don't know. All I know is that I struggle kicking the football. Don't kill me. But my reads, my reads are on point. Do you see my reads? We are not on hooked on phonics today, baby. We're going to run that ball with candidate running fools over and we're inside Cincinnati's red zone. Rivers throws it quickly to Gates, and we back up into the gates are wide open. Let Antonio do his thug fizzle. So touchdown Cleveland, Cincinnati, they could be in trouble, man, because I think we can stop them, okay? It's only Rudy that's doing damage. We stop Rudy, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. They take a shot deep. That pass falls incomplete, trying to find the homie Peter Work, one of the greatest college football players ever. I mean, my gosh, have you seen that mixtape? The dude was an absolute animal, okay? Rudy Johnson, we stop you, we're going to win this ball game, and we stop him right there. Second down to 12. Palmer looking to throw it because they ain't going to run the ball in second and long with Rudy Johnson. No, no, no. And that pass intercepted, baby. Did you see the lockdown coverage? The lockdown coverage was something marvelous. And the homie Carson Palmer, he's hurt. We don't want to see that. The boy's grabbing this and it would be a pinched nerve. And he's tough as nails, clearly, because he's going to come back into the ballgame. If you give me a pinched nerve, I'm out. I'm not doing no videos. I'm calling in from work. I mean, nothing's happening over here, okay? Candidate, he's going to make the catch. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And that's a first down. We got Northcutt breaking like like the reeds. I was on fire. This game out, your boy was on fire with Felipe. And the, the play called it was on point. The run pass ratio, marvelous, excellent. We were just doing our thing today, okay? Chad Johnson, he makes the catch, picks up just a couple or just a handful, I should say. They go right back to Chad, makes the catch, running people. That should never happen. No receiver, unless you're Anquan Bowling, should be like running over a linebacker. And even he didn't get run over, but he didn't run over a linebacker. He made like a big time catch. The linebacker tried to blow him up and couldn't do it. So yeah. Anyways, taking the shot deep and Chad Johnson turns into Randy Moss, the big boss. Moss and everybody. My goodness gracious. So they go right back to the homie Chad. That pass falls incomplete because my defense out there sticky, 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 icky, 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 icky sticky, sticky. Third down. Palmer looking. Palmer, still looking. Palmer, waiting. That should have been an INT. Instead, it is not an INT, but they, we do get a stop. 
So I'm not going to complain too much. They do kick the field goal. It is up, and it is good. But we still got the lead, so we're still feeling good. Up the gut, pick up six. 24 to 28 is the score. If we score a touchdown right here, it could be all she wrote, baby. Okay, we would be up by 11. It could be all she wrote, baby. Now, it will still be like a two-possession game, but still, I'm feeling pretty good about my defense if we can stop the homie Rudy Johnson, all right? We're going to find Brown, the rookie, gets up field. That's going to be a first down. Candidate trying to be great, and he's going to pick up a gain of three. Second down in seven. Going to throw that thing quickly. Candidate going to race up field. Almost gets the first down, but he gets stopped. But you can't stop a man who is dedicated to his craft, okay? If there's a will, there's a way, baby. 28, 24. Then look at this. Rivers, looking. We dropping back. We got Edwards wide open. The route was marvelous. The pass was a Dawkins diamond. We're feeling fine. This game ain't going to overtime because we about to win in regulation. That didn't rhyme at the end, but, like, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. I'm no rapper. I'm, I just I just commentate a lot, all right? So, Sean Jones, he saves a touchdown right there. Maybe Poole would have got him. All I know, Sean Jones is a little bit banged up. All right, second down and 25. Second down, 25. Full. Second down and 15, excuse me. Chad Johnson makes the catch. And now looking at third down and seven. Can we be great? The backup safety comes in, number 31. I'm telling you, man, I believe his name is w w Wells. Wells. Wells could replace Jones one day. He reminds me of Cam Chancellor, not just because he wears 31 and plays strong safety, but because the boy is big as heck and he can run. And Cam Chancellor could do both those things. He was almost like a freak of nature. Trunk Kennedy up the gut. He's going to go backwards, man. So third down, we're going to run the ball again. Psych, we're going to go up top. I had Gates. I chose to go to North Cut. And I probably should throw the ball to Gates in hindsight. He's probably the best receiver. On, he's not probably. He is the best receiver on the team, even though he plays tight end. 95 overall. The man is a flat-out beast. Peter Work. he makes the catch right there. They got 322 on the clock, down by two possessions. They got to do some quick, fast, and then a heart. All right. Work over the middle, makes the catch, and now it's going to be second down and uno. And on second down and uno. Oh, no, we, we we shut it down, baby. So that was going to be third down. And on third down, we try to be great. We personify excellence or something like that. And look at that. Look, excellence is achieved. Now they run the ball on fourth down. Look at us ball it up. I get there to contain the outside, and we freaking bottle up Rudy Johnson. And now we got a chance to milk this clock. We run the ball. We get nothing. We go back with a toss play. We really get nothing. Matter of fact, we go backwards. So now it's going to be third down and seven. And on third and seven, we really go backwards. They're going to call a timeout. They got a minute 50 on the clock down by 11. First pass play incomplete. We got that pressure with the homie Gordon Palmer looking downfield. My boy Rogers. Big Scott gets up in there for the sack. Palmer looking downfield. This time he has time, but the problem is nobody can get open because my secondary is out there just playing that sticky, yucky, yucky, yucky. And now it's fourth down and 13. What can they do? Palmer looking downfield in double coverage. Little Dicky, <laughs> call me Dave. Little Dicky, he's going to get in there for the first down. He got open. They're going to take a shot deep. And Ty Law, he got beat by Chad like he stole something. Now they said that he was out of bounds. They said that he did not make the catch in bounds. But not only did he make the catch inbounds, he never did step out of bounds, so it should have been a touchdown. One foot, two foot, that third foot was the foot that they said that was out of bounds, so it should have been a catch nonetheless, but it really should have been a touchdown. Hey, but I'm going to take it, okay? Sports ain't perfect. Refs ain't perfect. People ain't perfect. So ain't nothing going to be perfect if it's run by people, okay? Palmer looking downfield. That's going to be caught by Henry. And now they're inside the 20. Palmer looking, looking, firing. That's going to be caught. Nope, it's going to be dropped. Henry got to make that catch, brother. Palmer looking downfield again. Still looking. That's going to be caught by Dickie. And that's going to be a first down. So first down and 10. Over the middle. Ward breaks the tackle like he's so good at doing, and he gets into the end zone. They're going to go for two to make a three-point ball game. Rude dies for the end zone. Touchdown. Can they get the onside kick is the question. And the foolery happened, but we were able to overcome that foolery and get the W, all right? 35-32 is the final. We did our thing, man. Felipe had himself a ball game. 
QB rating of 50 of 152.1, threw for over 300 yards, 21 of 27, three TDs, no interceptions, ran the ball 28 times with candidate for 98 yards, Brandon Edwards, eight catches for a buck 26 plus a TD, Antonio Gates with two of those things being great, and those gates were wide open for Mr. Antonio Davis led the team in tackles with six of them things, little uh, Huffman uh, had a tackle for loss, and then sacks go to for Rodgers and Lang, and of course we had those three picks. All right, next game, those Steelers, nine and four. Now, at the beginning of last episode, I said they were on top of division and looked like they were running away with things, but things have changed just a little bit. Now, if we beat the Steelers, we are going to swap places with them. So it is a must win. The Chargers, they also got the sixth seed as of right now. So we have got to beat the Steelers if we want a legitimate chance of making it to the postseason. The Patriots also have a chance as well. We look at the remaining schedules. Again, we got the Steelers, then the Bengals again, and then we have the 49ers. I do not know what the 49ers look like. I see that they're 4-9. But, hey, 4-9 and nine doesn't always tell the whole story. They could they, they, they could have a squad like since he has a squad. We almost lost to the Bengals, and the Bengals are just as bad as the Niners, basically. But, anyways, I'm going to get about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of the day is the best day. Peace, love. Hustle.